Today, I'm going to share with you in layman's term how typical houses or structures are built in the Philippines. Gusto kong madaling maintindihan ninyo kung paano naitatayo ang isang bahay kahit hindi kayo nag-aaral ng architecture or engineering. I'm not encouraging you to not to get professionals but because they will play an important role to build your dream house or project. I want to make this in detail from the foundation to the roofing. So please subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking channel. First of all, I want to tell you that you should have a complete set of plans and a, uh, and a building permit before starting the construction. And I will discuss it maybe in a separate video. Ang unang ginagawa sa pagtatayo ng bahay ay ang pagtusukat, syempre. We need to locate in the site where we are going to lay the foundations of the house. We need to check the structure plans of the house, particularly the foundation plan. Basically, the complete set of plans include the architectural plans, the structural plans, sanitary or planning plans, the mechanical plans, if, if any. We will need battery boards or temporary frames kung saan ilalagay natin ang layout screen or tanse na pinatawag. Kung baga ay nilalagay natin ng tanda yung kung saan tayo maguhukay at itatayo yung mga pundasyon at mga poste. This is how butter boards look like. Usually, it is made up of uh, 4 inches by 2 inches wood. Pwede nang kukulamber dahil ito ay temporary lamang. What important is it should be sturdy so that our measurements would be precise. Inilalagay ang mga battery boards usually mga isang metro ang layo mula dun sa kanto ng lugar ng pundasyon. Pag naset ng battery boards, we will lay out the streams or tanset based sa mga hawak nating foundation plan. Tawa nga pala, uh, ang tanset ay gawa sa nylon uh, uh, at uh, Ito'y katulad din na ginagamit sa pamiming whip at ganoon din sa mga strings ng ating mga gitara. We can use common wire nails o yung pako to connect the battery boards to the strings. After doing this, we can start digging. So usually, ang lalim ng hukay para sa foundation ay isa't kalahating metro. Pero syempre, depende ito din sa condition ng lupa at sa uri at taas ng itatayong struktura. Do you know the difference between a post and a foundation? Naalala ko kung paano ko mag-drawing ng bahay nung, nung bata pa. Ganito yun, di ba? And did you know that tama ito? The one at the bottom is the, yung actual na itsura ng foundation at ang post yung nasa ibabaw ng foundation. And we will discuss this one on my next video. I know that there are some technicalities I haven't mentioned in this video, but at least na ibahagi ko sa inyo ang topic na ito in a simple way. If it helped you, please like and share this video. Cheers!